Can we just have one month where nobody tries to attack Peter Samedi and Alterna Comics? So, I'll get a little more into the story, and the story is blowing up in the, uh, in the comic skate world. And really, it should be in the comic book world. Uh, this should be sort of a milestone that should, I, hopefully makes a lot of people rethink their tactics against the side that they perceive as, as the opposite side. And yes, there is two distinct op, two, two distinct sides in comic books right now, but that's for another time. Um, so, you know, last night I'm pounding some code, I'm doing some, doing, getting a little bit of work done, and... I see that I get a notification that uh, Peter Samedi is about to come on and do a, a broadcast. Now, if you don't know who he is, he is the owner and operator of Alternate Comics. He is probably the ultimate good guy Greg in the comic book world. hes I don't think I've ever heard him say anything bad about anyone. Even the people who have really said some horrible things and made some very, very baseless and just disgusting accusations about him. I really think that, you know, I should, we should all strive to be a little more like Peter Samedi. Now, I'm on the criticism side of the comic book industry in just my tiny little corner with uh, 201 followers. Thank you to, I got a, my 201st follower yesterday. Thank you, whoever that was. Uh, I don't get notifications of who does it. But anyway, I digress. Uh, so I really can't be like more like Peter, which I really should be. I try to be it in my life. So, I'm watching this, this live stream, and it's going well, and there's a very loud knock at Peter's door, and it's very un unexpected. Even Peter was, was kind of shocked by this, and, you know, he, ended the, he, stopped, he stopped the broadcast momentarily to go check on it. And jokingly, I, I wrote, it's Mark Wade, and the next thing I hear through the through the, the microphone is police open up now what had happened is he peter Samedi was if you ask me he was swatted the timing of it coinciding with the broadcast was a little too conspicuous to not be to just be a random we got the wrong address this was a swatting this was from somebody who thinks of who has taken the the hyperbolous claims of the SJWs in comic books that Peter Samedi is all right, that he's a racist, that he's a bigot. He's none of those things. If you can, I'll make a deal with any, any of you guys on that other side, any of you sick SJWs on that side. If you can prove to me, if you can send me proof of Peter Samedi saying anything negative, anything racist, anything bigoted, anything homophobic, I will stop buying comic books completely. I will stop doing videos. I will stop buying comic books. I freaking dare you. You can't find it because of the person that Peter Samedi is. But this has been building. As as you know, DNC did a video that SJ the SJW infection didn't start in 2014. That's just when you saw the first termite. Now, I don't think I think a little bit different. 2014 is when they started to weaponize. This is when they started to get militant in their tactics. Uh, from the SJWs in comics, we've seen Mark Wade call out D Diversity in Comics saying, if you see him at this con, Baltimore Comic Con, come get me. Tell me where he is. Now, that's very ominous. That's a very ominous thing for a comic book professional to say in public, announcing to his fans. Uh, Hang on, let me get past this car without sideswiping it. We've seen doxing attempts. We've seen false claims. We've seen people who backed jawbreakers get harassed at work. We've seen, now it's not comic book related, we've seen the quartering attacked. This is just the, the swatting of Peter Samedi. It disgusts me, but it doesn't shock me. They've spent a lot of time dehumanizing people who are critical of comic books. And in Peter's case, somebody who's absolutely neutral, somebody who, as I've said many, many times, he just wants you to buy his comics. He's not really interested in, in any type of ideology on either side. He just wants to sell comics. He wants creators to make good comics for his company, and he wants his com company to be able to publish 
those good comics. And that's all it is. So, you know, this uh, some of this video will be to whoever did it. Now, I would like to... I'm going to post something on... Show something in the video that you'll see in the screenshot of now. Swatting people? I just want the person, whoever... Whoever did it. I don't know if you're listening or not. Um, you almost went to jail for 25 years. If that cop... If either of the police officers in that situation had reacted wrongly, or if Peter had said something wrong or done something to, to set off the, the police officer, and Peter was shot and killed, as you'll see in this situation that happened between Call of Duty players, they swatted another player, the player was shot and killed by the police, and now the person who did it is facing 25 years, and all his he has two accomplices, they've yet to go to trial, but uh, if you know anything about criminal trials like that, if the, pers if the first person pleads out, and gets a sentence doesn't really bode well for all the other people. So, to whoever did it, you should just step back. I think. I think, and generally, just everybody. I would say on the Comiskate side, but you never see this behavior from from anybody of note, anybody, any personality on the Comiskate side. You never see calls for violence. You never see harassment at work. You never see the things that the SJWs do, the doxings. Uh, it's all on the other side. We as Comicgate are a critical movement, as well as, as a movement producing actual comic books. Now, some of this criticism is harsh, as, as I did last week in my review of G.I. Joe Sierra Muerte. But it seems like the other side, the, the SJWs in the comic book industry and, and their fans, They've been dehumanizing people in the comic book industry. The the you're either with us or you're against us. And everybody who's against who they perceive as against them, they've spent years dehumanizing, calling them Nazis, calling them bigots, racist, doing things, making it okay in their minds. When you do that, you dehumanize somebody and you make it okay in, in your mind to do whatever you feel like doing to them. It was, in every genocide in, in human history, that has been a key factor in it. Especially in, in the 1930s in Nazi Germany, the dehumanizing of the Jews, which made dirty looks okay, which made saying rude things to them. And it was a progression of the dirty looks, the rude things, throw a rock at them, throw a rock through their window, burn their their businesses and then stab them in the streets. That's the progression of dehumanizing. And to whoever did this, I'm sure you proclaim to hate Nazis and and things like that. You know, you punch Nazis. But I want to say this, and to a lot of the people who, who participate in these tactics of doxing, of threats, uh, harassment at work, for people who claim to hate Nazis, you're really good at acting like them. Now, I hope that this this incident in in comic books will kind of help let the other side realize, hey, we need to pump the brakes because as much as we love comic books, they're still just comic books. This, this is not something to get shot over, to get people shot over. And in watching this 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 live stream of Peter before before the police arrived. He was having a good time, the happy-go-lucky, good guy Greg of the comic book industry. I watched through the entire industry, or through the entire video. When he came back to the camera, when he sat down, when the adrenaline had slowed through his body, there was a deep concern on his face. There was, and I'm sure it, it might have been in his mind, there was the mind of, is this worth it? Is this worth continuing? Does this... Do I continue doing this? And it really made me fear, and I still fear until, you know, I want to start hearing from Peter again. Uh, it made me worry about the future of alternate comics because a situation like that, because somebody thinks you're a, a meanie on Twitter, some Twitter poison psycho makes a crank call and sends two police to your, to your front door with guns and you have two guns pointed at you. 
it it stop it makes you stop and it is the it i i'm pretty sure this is the intended uh result that whoever did this was hoping for to rain on the parade to make someone like peter Samedi think about what they're doing thinking if is it worth it is it worth risking my life when there are psychos out there who dehumanize me and hate me so i hope everybody mostly the sjw's will stop and sort of pump the brakes on the tactics that they use because it is as like i said before as much as we love it it's still just comic books it's not worth anybody dying over it's not worth anybody getting shot over it's not worth dehumanizing anybody over so but that's all i got for this one um Oh, man, I was trying to be upbeat this week, and, uh, and it's not working out so well. But um, tell me what you think in the comments. Keep the conversation going. If you know, uh, if you follow Peter on Twitter, send him good thoughts, because I know the guy, if you saw the, the podcast, or if you saw the, the live stream, when he went back to the camera, he was a very concerned man. And I hope Peter, Peter Smetty, uh, if, you, if you watch this, I hope you're feeling okay, buddy. Uh, I hope you keep doing what you're doing. But whatever you decide, I'll back you. I like you. You're a great guy. Uh, to everybody watching, everybody who's subscribed, uh, hit a like, hit a subscribe, and uh, you guys go out and have a good day too. Thanks. Bye.